Hey guys, this is lesson 12.1, probability. What you need to do now is take out your notebook and we're gonna take some notes. Title your page 12.1. Here is some new vocabulary. First we have outcome. So write down outcome. It is the result of an action. So let's say I flip a coin and get tails. Getting tails is a possible outcome when tossing a coin. The next new vocabulary word is event. So write down event. It is a collection of possible outcomes. So the probability of picking a red M&M out of a bag, that's a specific event, is picking a specific red color. That is an event. And then a complement, so write down that, is a collection of outcomes not contained in an event. So it's kind of like the opposite. So if my event is picking a red, the complement would be not picking a red, so picking a brown or a green or a yellow or a blue, whatever other colors are in there. So the probability of not picking a red M&M out of a bag is the complement. If you need to, you can push pause and finish writing down the new vocabulary, and when you're ready, hit play again. All right, so first we have theoretical probability. So you need to write this down. So the probability of an event <clears throat> equals the number of favorable outcomes, so what you want, divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So write this down in your notes. Put a big box around it with stars, whatever you need to do to make it stand out. Okay, so let's do an example. What is the probability of picking a vowel in the word summer? So the probability of picking a vowel, so you should copy this down, these are the examples equals, and now you're going to look at the vowels. I have, my vowels are A, E, I, O, U, okay? So I have a U and an E. So I have two vowels out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six letters. So then I can simplify two six to one third. So my answer is one-third. Next, what is the probability of not picking a vowel in the word summer? So the probability of not picking a vowel, so that means I could pick S, I could pick M, M, or R. So I have four choices out of a total of six, which would be two-thirds. Now, this is the probability, the top one is the probability of an event, and the second one is the complement, is the probability of not picking a vowel. Okay, so let's look at some more examples. Drew has one blue shirt, five white shirts, three green shirts, and two brown shirts. He selects a shirt from his closet with his eyes shut. Find each probability. So what you want to do is count up the total number of shirts. So he has one blue shirt plus five white shirts, so that's six, plus three green, so that's nine, and two brown. So he has 11 shirts to choose from. Okay, we need to know that. Now, what is the probability of picking a white shirt. So that means he would have five white shirts out of a total of 11 shirts total. So the white goes on top over the total amount of shirts he has in his closet. So five elevenths is the correct answer. What's the probability of not a green shirt? So that means we don't want green, not green. Okay, so we could have blue, we could have white, or we could have brown. 
So we add up all of those colors. Blue is one, white is five, so that's six, and brown is two, so that's eight. Out of my total, which is 11. So my answer would be eight elevenths. Now, what's the probability of a blue shirt? So if you look at blue, there's only one blue shirt in that closet out of a total of 11 shirts. So the probability of picking that blue shirt is 1 out of 11, which is 1 11th. And that's all for today.